In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create viral image ads using 100% only AI. And this is the same method that I'm using to generate $1,000 a day with my dropshipping stores running Facebook ads using image ads only. Here are some examples that I made literally in just 10 minutes using this method. So if you're tired of using Canva to create your image ads, or if you're fed up of spending hundreds of dollars hiring a model or an influencer, if you're fed up of that, then that's great because in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can use AI to make you content on demand. Now, just to prove to you guys that image ads are underrated and they're an absolute goldmine, check out one of my ad accounts where I'm running a dropshipping product on Facebook ads. And you can see here underneath the creative name is called image ad, image ad, image ad. And then the videos are just called creatives. You can see here, they've got the highest CTR and they've got the best CPC. Sometimes the CTR is a little bit lower, but the CPC is dramatically cheaper. And this is what helps with profitability on ad accounts. Now you can see my purchase ROAS here, which is 5.55. Now my break even ROAS is just above 1.5 and that's so profitable just because of image ads. Now I've also created a free Google doc sheet that's gonna contain all the prompts and all the websites that I'm gonna be using throughout the video. So if you wanna get access to that guys, we have to hit 2000 likes on this video. So guys, this is the product that I'm gonna be using throughout the video as an example. It's the Shark Slides. These blew up a few years ago. I'm pretty sure everyone that's watching this will know about these. Now, you should have your product in mind that you obviously wanna use. Now, the first thing that we have to do for this method to work is we need to download 12 images of the product that you're gonna be selling. So the best way to do this, guys, is to go obviously to AliExpress and type in the name of your product and look for the sellers that have the most orders. This one's got 10,000. The ones that usually have the most orders typically have the best images. Now this image here is fine, so I can download this one. Now you can either download it or you can print screen it. On Mac, it's Control Command 4, and I can just take a print screen. Now if I scroll down, there are other suppliers that are selling the product, and these images here look perfect for what I'm trying to do. So this image here is really good. This image here is really good, and this image here. So these are another three good images of the product. Now you're gonna to wanna to try and make sure that you get all of the angles of the product when you're doing this, if you want the best results. You don't wanna just download images of just the front or the side, you need all aspects of the product for this to work as well as possible. Now, the reason why we're doing this, guys, is because we're gonna to wanna to get our AI program to recreate the product one-to-one. -one. So it's gonna match it one-to-one. -one. Now, you can also head over to Amazon as well and get images there. So there's some really good images here of my product. Now, when you're doing this, guys, just make sure the product that you're doing matches the one that you're selling because it won't match up when we create it as an AI model. So now I'm just gonna finish off downloading the rest of the images I need. All of these here are really good options for me. Now, the next thing that we need to do is you need to create an account on free pick this is the software that we're going to use to create a model of the product and images so it's called freepick.com now i'm not affiliated or sponsored by this company they do not pay me a penny i use this company every single day for my e-commerce businesses now once you've created an account you're going to get some free credits and that's why this method's free because you will get some free credits when you create an account now once you've created your free account you want to go over to where it says ai suite and you're going to want to go to where it says ai image generator now once you're inside of the ai image generator suite you're going to want to go down to where it says here objects you should see style effects character object you're going to want to click the plus where it says new object so this is where we're going to create our one-to-one -one clone of the product so you want to call it the name of the product so i'm going to call it slides then you're going to want to make a short description just so you know what it is so just call it whatever your product is and then where it says type, you're gonna to wanna to call it whatever the product is. So in my case, they're gonna be sliders. Now you're gonna get the option for quality. Now I would recommend that you set this to ultra. And for this to work, you do need to upload 12 images. Now where it says upload image or zip file, this is where you're gonna to wanna to upload those 12 images that I got you to download. Now for this process to work, you need 5,500 credits. Now in the top right, you can view how many credits you've got. I've got 35,000 credits. Now, if you need to buy more or get more, you can just click buy extra credits. Now, if you do need to get some extra credits, there's an option for 10,000, which will cover you. And it's gonna cost you $5, guys, literally $5 to get custom image ads. So is it worth it? Of course it's worth it. It's literally just $5, guys. Okay, once you've done that, guys, all you need to do is click create object, and then it will take around about 10 minutes and it will create a custom object of that product. You can see if I go back to the object tab now, you can see my object has now been created. So now what we're gonna wanna do is go to where it says object and select ours. And then you should see here, the strength should be 100%. Now the reason why you want the strength at 100% is because it means it will clone it one-to-one, -one, which is obviously what you want. Now in terms of the mode, you're gonna wanna use flux.10. Now you wanna head back to the top where it shows the text box here where you can add text. 
Now it should have the at symbol and then the object that you've added. Now this is where we're gonna put a prompt in terms of what we want it to create with our object. Now what we're gonna do here, guys, is we're gonna start to create some lifestyle images, custom content of our product, whether it be models wearing it. We're gonna do loads of different stuff here that we're gonna move on later to then create our fancy image ads. But for now, we need the custom content, so that's what we're gonna do. Now to creating custom content, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna look at your competitors and see what images that they've made. Now the first way I like to do this is by heading over to Google, typing in my product name. I like to look at who are the top organic listing websites for this product. So this one here called Cloud Slides is number one. I also like to take a look at who's paying for Google Ads here in the Google Ads window. If there isn't anyone, then I'll just stick to the top listed website. Now the reason why we're doing this guys is because if these guys are ranked number one on the Google search, that means that they're doing something right. So what we're gonna wanna do is clearly look at what kind of images they're using on their website so we can recreate them. Now, because I'm gonna be using these images for my ads on Facebook, I actually wanna see who's running ads as an image for my product. So I've gone to my favorite product research tool called Minia, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for the name of the product. So here it says Shark Slides. I'm then gonna to filter the media type to image and click apply. And then I'm gonna click on one of the images that I see, and then I'm gonna to go to where it says find similar in the top right, and then it's gonna find me all of the relevant images that are similar to those. So these are all the top performing image ads that I've ran on Facebook for my product. So I'm just gonna click on one of these, and you can see here in the top right, it's showing me all of the images for this. So what I'm gonna to wanna to do, guys, is I'm gonna to wanna to take a print screen or I'm gonna right click and download these images that I'm seeing. Again, this image ad here, I can right click it, download it. Also these images here, guys, I can right click and download it. This one here is really cool of multiple people wearing them. Again, I'm gonna scroll through their ads and you can see I'm gonna download these. So before we move on to the next part of today's video, I wanna talk about a Shopify app that everyone, and I mean everyone, should have installed, and it's called Omnisend. And Omnisend is an email marketing provider that you can use to then email your customers, whether it be abandoned carts, whether it be welcome series. And the great thing about Omnisend, your first 500 email customers will be completely free to you, so you won't have to pay to have them in Omnisend. Now, some other companies will charge you to have these people in your email list. Now, Omnisend is designed for e-commerce email marketing. They're not a one-stop solution for all of these industries. They are specifically designed for e-commerce email marketing. So the way they design their flows, the way they design everything is designed for an e-commerce business. Now, the reason why everyone should be using email marketing is because if you're spending money on Facebook ads, Google ads, or even influencer marketing, and people are coming to the site but not converting, then you need to reconvert them through email marketing. So if you're spending a dollar, you want to make sure you maximize everything you get out of that dollar. And by having email marketing set up correctly, you will make sure that you take advantage of that $1 you're spending or $10 you're spending on traffic. Now we've generated almost a million dollars in just email marketing, retargeting and acquisition. So email marketing is every single e-commerce dropship is a responsibility to make sure they have installed. And with an app like Omnisend, allowing you to have 500 customers for free, it makes sense. Now I've even made a step-by-step -step free course on how to install Omnisend and set up the flows. So you can start your welcome series, you can do your abandoned cart sequences, you can do a custom win back. I've gone through absolutely Absolutely everything on that video. So I'll leave that video linked in the description. And if you want to use Omnisend, I'll also leave my exclusive link in the description so you can get the latest deal and offer through Omnisend. And I also want to say a massive thank you for Omnisend for sponsoring today's video. So once you've downloaded a few images that you found of people running them as ads, whether it be on the ad library or Minia, you are going to want to open up ChatGBT and open up the 4.0 model. And you're going to want to upload that image that you took a print screen of. So here's the one here of this woman holding up two of them. And and now I'm gonna to say to the AI model, please make me a prompt based on what's in this image. So as you guys can see, the GBT model came back with the prompt saying a static product photo of two adorable cartoon style slippers shaped like sharks. So this is the prompt now we're gonna go and use in free picks. We're gonna copy that, go back to free pick and paste the prompt there. So we're getting AI to do all of the hard work for us. Now, once you've done that guys, you might wanna to go to where it says style and this is where you can start to change the style that you want. Now, before you click generate guys, there are a few options to be aware of. Number one is style. So if you go through style, you can see all the different styles that you can use. Now style just basically means it will add a little bit of that style to the image. Now be very careful with this guys, because again, it will use your credits 
and you've got to remember that it can ruin the image because if you click the wrong style, then it's going to make something that isn't relevant. I do use style now and again, guys, it just depends what I'm selling, but bear that in mind. Now you've also got effects. Effects depends on how you want it to be shot. So you can have it dramatic. You can have it from a low angle. Again, if you're doing fashion, you might want to do this. But again, these are some other options that you've got but be very careful because if you click on this and you use the wrong one, it's just gonna ruin your image. Now you wanna come right to the bottom, just where the generate button is, and you can see here the layer icon and how many it will make. So preset is it will make me four, but you can make either more or less. It's up to you guys what you wanna do, but the more you generate, the more credits it will use. Now I stick to four guys, and then you've got the aspect ratio here, one to one, 16 by nine, nine to 16. Now, because we're doing image ads, or if you're doing story ads as an image, you're either gonna be doing one-to-one -one or nine by 16. So make sure you've got the right one turned on. Now, once you guys have done that, you can click generate. And just like that, guys, check this out. We've got four custom images, and these are amazing. Take a look at these guys. These are our custom images of our product. So we're no longer having to depend on AliExpress or Amazon to make our images. We've now created custom content of our product and they look amazing. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to click on the image. Now this is a little bit on the low resolution. It looks like it's 720p, not 4K. So what you can do is you can click upscale in the bottom and then you can go to where it says 4X. So what you wanna do is you wanna go from magnifier to classic and you wanna go to where it says imagination to non, resolution to 4K and then click upscale. Now once you've done that guys, in the bottom left, you're gonna see the original and the new one. So if you click on the new one, you can now see the difference. There is a huge difference between them guys. Look at the original, then look at the new upscaled version it's a lot crisper and it just looks like 4k so now this is the perfect image that I'm going to want now let's say for example I just don't like the background of the image it's a bit boring then I can click background here then you want to go to where it says replace you want to go to where it says prompt and then where it says preserve details you want to turn that on and then where it says transfer light to subject I turn this off now I might want the background to be in a bedroom because she's wearing a robe so I'm gonna put bedroom so I've put cozy bedroom as the prompt and then I'm gonna click replace background and just like that guys it's made the new image with the background now if you look in the bottom left guys you can see where all the variations are made and the new one with the new background is made and that looks pretty good so if you do just want to change the backgrounds because you don't like them that's the way to do it and it's really effective so the next thing that you guys need to do is just finish off the rest of the images so the ones that you downloaded you need to go back to chat gbt ask for the prompt come back here add it in and download your images now, just to show you the ones that I've made myself, guys, you can see all of them here. I've got somebody lying on the floor with them. I've got somebody wearing them here. I've got a group of different people wearing them based on what I saw. So you can see all of the variations that I've made myself. And once again, the best thing here, guys, is this is my own custom content. So now we've got our custom content images and we've got a good variety. We can now move on to creating the really cool, fancy looking image ads with the text, with the features, we can now do that. So guys, for us to be able to do that, we need to come back to ChatGBT 4.0. Now, the reason why we're coming back here is because ChatGBT 4.0 has had a huge, huge update. When I say huge update, I mean it's a game changer. So if you come to the bottom and go to view tools, you can see now create image has got an update. Now, back in the day, ChatGBT using images was terrible. Whenever you asked it to create you text images, the text would look horrible and it would just look pathetic. Now they fixed that and they've literally gone over the top with it and just blown everything out of the water. So now ChatGBT can literally make us our images into image ads. So I've just said, I am selling these on my Shopify store. Here is the product link. So you need to send it your website link. I now need images ads making because I want to advertise these on Facebook ads. So I need you to create me image ads for this product. I will send you the images so you can turn them into the ad style. Then it's gonna ask you back for all of this information. So you do need to fill this out guys for it to get the best results. Now the next prompt that I'm gonna send it is this is the style that I want to remake for my product. So now we're gonna go back to Canva. Don't worry, we're not going to Canva to do it. We're going Go in there to get some styles so if you type in product features at the top now you're going to get loads of different styles that we can get the prompt to recreate for our product so i actually really like this design here so i'm going to print screen this design so that it knows that's the style that i want i'm also going to take this design because i like this one a lot as well and now what i can do is i can go back to the gbt model and upload those two images so that's the style that i want it to recreate for my product and then i'm going to send it now the next prompt is going to be here are my photos i want you to change for the facebook ad so this is where you're going to want to upload 
upload those custom photos that you just made, guys. So I've just uploaded the image that I made with FreePick, and now I'm going to send it to the model. Now, before it makes that image, it's just going to give you some options that you can choose from for the headline, for the highlights, and for the call to action. So you can choose manually which one you want it to use, or you can just say pick for me. Okay, guys, that's the first image ad that it made for me. Now, it made it in the 9 by 16 aspect ratio, so that's a great one for story ads. Now, if you don't want it in a story style formation, just say make it one-to-one -one ratio, and then it will recreate it, but for one-to-one -one ratio. But for AI to make me an image ad, I think that is really, really good. Imagine having to do that yourself in Canva. Now, although it did take a few minutes to make on GBT, these do take a little bit longer to make. That is really, really good, guys. Now, I've sent it another prompt saying, now make me an image ad for my product based on this style. So I resent it that style again from Canva that I really like. And now it's gonna recreate an image ad for my product based on that design. And just like that, guys, it's created this image ad here. And this image ad is crazy good. Like, look how good this looks. Imagine you having to make this on Canva. It's done all the hard work for you in terms of putting the product in the right area, changing the colors. Honestly, guys, this is just mind blown to me. Even though I've done this before, every time I see it redo it, it just... It honestly blows my mind, guys, how insane this actually is. Now, if there are things that you don't like about the image that it's making you, or there are things that you want to change, just click on the image, come to the bottom, and it will say, describe what you want to add, remove, or replace. So you can just say to it, look, I need you to change this or add this. It will remake it and send you the new version. So it could be brand colors. It could be adding your logo. It could be changing the names or the features, but you can get it to do it for you. Be honest with me, guys. Are you blown away by this crazy value I've just shared and the kind of results that you can get? I just think this is insane. And honestly, I believe it's a complete game changer. So guys, that's how I create my viral image ads using AI and 100% using AI. I didn't do anything there. I didn't go on Canva and create any of that. I didn't do any of the photo shoots ai did everything for me so let me know what you thought about this video in the comment section was you impressed are you going to get a lot of benefit from this what are you going to use it for and don't forget to get this video to 2000 likes so you can get access to all the prompts and services that i used and extra benefits are also going to be added to the google doc sheet in terms of extra prompts that you can use but with that being said guys i'll catch you on the next video